So the next time you log into SAM card, you're gonna see this button. Click on that button and you will be taken to the brand new refresh that we have done inside of the SAM card app. Now this isn't some top to bottom new design or SAM card 2.0, nothing like that, but we have been listening to your guys' feedback and we are super excited to release some nine brand new updates inside of your app to make SAM card easier to use for you, easier to use for your team, and to give you more of what you need faster. Let's go ahead, we're gonna break down what those nine things are, but you can go into your SAM card marketplace, click that button, and go ahead and see this new refresh now. All right, so let's break down what is included inside this refresh and why your feedback directly led to these nine items. Item number one is the sidebar over here. We've taken a couple different tabs, we've rearranged them to be a lot more about what you guys need to run your business. You will see more specifically, there is a brand new tab dedicated just to your customers. There's a brand new tab dedicated to just your orders. And there's a brand new tab dedicated to just your subscriptions. So things have basically just been reorganized more to fit your e-commerce workflows. From the orders tab, there is a brand new feature right over here on the right. As if you see this very top order is a test order from me, you can come in and we have brand new quick actions. So you can click on quick actions and resend the receipt. You can add to order, which is to say, use someone's card on file to charge them for other products, or you can even refund the full order with one simple click. Just another one of the ways that the three most common things someone does no longer takes out a couple extra clicks, no longer do you need to open an order, click again, confirm all this stuff. These quick actions over here, item number two, really excited about that one. Item number three is we made it easier for you guys to go from one order or one subscription or even one customer to go see more information about that person. So if I come over and click on the name of the customer here, you get taken to a full customer record. Now you can see I obviously have placed a lot of different orders, but you can see someone's full order history, exactly how much they've spent with you, how much they've refunded, their cards on file. You can leave comments, you can add tags to find this customer later, but you have a customer's full order history right in front of you just by clicking on their name from any of these screens. If I navigate back over to the orders tab, the subscriptions tab, all of these new tables, now you can actually choose what columns you want to be present in your own reports. So you can choose and say, I really like making sure the first name and last name are there. I never need to look at coupons, whatever that might be. You can edit the columns and export with one simple click right over here. Very, very nice feature so that you can see the data you need. Number six is gonna be this brand new tab over here on the left called apps. What we have done is we've taken all of your integrations and all the kind of ancillary connections that you have for SamCart. SamCart is your e-commerce engine that lives at the middle of your business. Whether you want to connect with email marketing tools, whether you want to connect with membership tools or shipping or course platforms, whatever, is now all of it is under apps. You can come in here, you can search for any different app. You can go ahead and install, which is to say connect automatically with tools for whatever it is that you need in your business. And if you go ahead and click over onto the installed tab, you'll see all the different apps you have already connected with your SamCard Marketplace. This is where SamCard Courses is going to live. This is where all of your integrations with external tools will all live right here. And item number six is that you can click on any one of these tools to see the integration rules you have set up. So integration rules say that if this happens in SamCart, do this in high level, do this in ConvertKit, do this in Kajabi, do this in whatever tools you go and connect with. So all your rules will be visible to you right here. And you can click and add a new rule. You can see your global rules, which is to say that anytime this action happens, anytime a product is purchased, we're going to add these tags inside of high level. Or you can toggle over and see the product specific rules that would say, when someone buys product A, do this inside of high level, or when a subscription is canceled for subscription C, add or remove several different tags. But in addition to be able to see all of your rules in one place, you also can come down here and there's this new logs section. SamCard is now logging so that you can see all the different actions that happen with your integrations and these new apps. So if you have a customer that comes in and says, hey, I wasn't added to your email list, I never got your thank you, you could come in here, search your logs, find the customer and see, did an integration rule fail? Did something not happen correctly? Was someone correctly added to my course? You have logs for all of your integrations waiting for you right here. 
And for items eight and nine, we are gonna go to your marketplace settings. Your marketplace settings has a new layout in addition to some cool new features. Number eight is when you're gonna come over and visit this branding tab. This branding tab gives you one place where you can edit all of your SAM card checkouts look and feel in the same place. So you can do things like change the font, you can change the font color, you can change the checkout button text or colors, you can add terms and conditions, all of your SAM card checkouts in one location so you don't have to go product by product to make those kinds of changes anymore. Over here on the left, you're also gonna see the new tracking in pixels where you can have your one-click integrations with Meta, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, as well as embed scripts in the header or footer of all of your SAM card checkouts. Custom fields are where you can create custom fields that you ask people to fill out at checkout. So you can have a text field, you can have checkboxes, you can have drop-down menus. In addition to asking for people's first name, last name, things like that, create your custom fields here. Custom domains is where you can actually add your own domain name to your SAM card checkouts. You actually now can also search and buy for your own domains with our new partnership with name.com. So if you don't have a domain, easy enough, search for it right here, buy it without ever leaving your SAM card account and add your checkouts to your new domain. And then last but not least, you have two new categories right here. This is your shipping category, where if you are shipping physical goods, you can go ahead and have really nice granular collections to say, if someone is buying my product from Hawaii, I wanna charge this much. If someone is buying my product from Finland or from all of Europe or from anywhere outside the United States, you can create very simple rules that let you control how much you're charging for shipping and handling, as well as adding a free shipping threshold. So you get a chance to set a threshold and say any order above that number, free shipping, take it away and boost your conversions. And last but not least, this inventory tab, there's not a whole lot to see right here as I have not configured that, but this is where you can add inventory so that your products are only sold for a certain amount and then they are shut down. Just another way that you can inject real scarcity into your offers at checkout using SamCart. All of these items are waiting for you inside of your SamCart marketplace. Just log in and click that button in the sidebar to switch over to the new design. You can go ahead and toggle back just for a little bit so it's not super binding, but this will become the default thing that everyone is gonna see inside of SamCart real soon. Be sure to let our team know about feedback, about what you like, maybe what you don't like, maybe what you'd like to see added. Let our team know. And if you're not using SamCart right now, head over to SamCart.com, get the number one e-commerce platform built for creators by people who run your business, creator, myself, that's what we did for a long time. And if you're not using SamCart to sell your stuff, head over to samcart.com, grab a free trial, or even talk to our team. Let our team do the work for you of migrating your business over to SamCart so you can get awesome new features like this and everything else SamCart has to boost your sales. Thank you guys for watching. There's a link to talk to that team right down below this video in the description. I'm Scott Moran, co-founder here at SamCart. We'll see you guys in the next one.